forces in harmony. Gravity. Gravity all alone. <laughs> He's really cool. Uh, why don't we all, well, if you'd like to experience it with me, you can do it a simple way. Hold a hand up and then just relax your arm completely. That was so swift and easy, right? Did anybody hurt themselves? <laughs> one, and, you know, our stats are pretty good. No effort, no concentration, just like Walter was talking about in the physical body, too. Elasticity. Uh, <laughs> if, you want to, if you want to feel it, um, take a hand, or both, your own, uh, <laughs> stretch it out, and then and now just relax completely. Try, try one more time. Just relax. Right now. Your hand grabs, like it's doing a grabbing thing, right? Yeah. But no effort, no concentration, no muscle contraction. <clears throat> Um, it comes in very handy. Instinct. Instinct involves muscle contraction, unconscious muscle contraction. It's hard to demonstrate this one because it's unconscious. Um, so pay attention. We're gonna try that. <laughs> we'll try to make it happen. <laughs> See over here? Yes. Okay. Great job. So that's that, that's instinct. Her, her arms went up to protect herself. And you weren't really conscious of it, right? It just happened. Or maybe you were conscious of it. Definitely after that. Um, instinct. Yeah. I. Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty darn hard to be conscious. Something that's unconscious. Uh, one time, though, I had a really great experience after an energetic yoga class. I was lying on the ground and just, of course, uh, being aware of my breathing. And when you become aware of your breathing, you also have a certain amount of control of it. Usually, you can decide you know, when to relax and exhale, when to start the inhale. But I, but I went a step further in, in my consciousness. Um, I actually really observe myself, so my consciousness is observing myself, breathing unconsciously. Because normally we breathe unconsciously, we don't think about it. But whoa, this, this was transcendent. Um, and my mind had to come up with, with some, kind of, uh, some kind of picture. It, it created this, this um, angel, like, like a being, maybe eight feet tall. It, it's all hocus pocus, it's just my mind. Because it's so difficult to be conscious of what you're unconscious of. So what I felt though was, oh, I'm observing this experience happening. There's an angel reaching down into my body and breathing me, exhaling me, and breathing me, and I'm just experiencing it. Wow, wait, there's no angel there. Really. <laughs> instinct, more about instinct. Um, we all. We all are born with amazing instincts, and it's easier to see you know, animals in the wild because they're all naked and in the wild and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're all born naked. <laughs> and, and infants, the, the pediatrician, they, they do a test uh, just a few days after birth to test the walking reflex. And what the pediatrician does is holds the infant over a table, and you'll see the infant just pick up one foot, and then it'll fall down and pick up another foot as the pediatrician's moving. Pick it up, pick it up. And it's the easiest part of walking. It's just taking a step. We give and take. You know, really, you know, in life you give some things and take some things. We don't give steps, that'd be really awkward. <laughs> We're already on our feet, so take a step. You know you've heard the saying, take a step. You know, when you take a step, you're suddenly not balanced anymore. So that you can experience locomotion. Um, 
and a doctor in Russia put electrodes on onto runners to to study it. So they're adults, you know, maybe they don't have access to those instincts anymore. But found out that yeah, that the muscle group that just picks the foot up, that was the only one that was actually active. All this other stuff is just relaxed. So you have the harmony of the gravity, gravity brings your foot back out, your quads don't actually contract to move your foot. And just just your foot, you pick up your feet, just like when the infant uh I can do this for hours. <laughs> So I'll, I'll sum up uh, with um, the perfor performance of all those, those things. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 